Okay, just a quick video here. This picture was taken in 1954, some years after I'd passed away. The machine has been either vandalized or completely dismantled. Some said it was for the copper. I don't think it was for the copper because it was still copper windings and stuff there. I'm not sure why it was taken apart or who took it apart. But I do believe this piece here matches up perfectly with this piece here. And this picture here is from when Ed was still alive at the wheel. I did some rough measurements. And the measurements seem to be very close. Not only that, but the texture, the grain, seems to match up fairly close with whatever this piece is. It looks like a piece of wood, but there must be something more to it. Look up in this part here. You compare it to that part there. It's the same round. Same dimensions. So this piece belongs right down here. As far as I can tell. I believe both of these match, absolutely. Next question is what is on top of here? See, these are about five and a half inches across. This measures out to around five and a half inches across. Three inches or so tall. This would be laid down. This piece here you may even see there. Although I've always thought this is some sort of pin coming right across. There is wires mixed in with these chains that go down the chains. One would assume would be a ground. High tension cable. It's probably rooted up into the apparatus up in here. Was I using any type of battery? And you got your primary and your secondary right here. Now if Ed was using or making his own batteries, it makes me wonder about the three-ton gate and the blow horn. This picture here was taken when Ed was alive. People would walk in, they would come to the door and it would read ring bell in two minutes attendant will be here something like that so people would come ring this bell the door would be open presumably by ad and then everyone would walk in 
then I would come behind the three-ton gate here. There would be a wooden chalk that he would stick in. He'd place it right into this hole here, and he would ask people to push on it, see if they could move the turnstile. Nobody could move it. Ed would take this wood piece out, freeing the gate, and then people could push it to their amazement. All good. The thing that still baffles me is the blue horn on top. So did Ed use batteries? Did Ed make his own batteries? What kind of horn would this be on top of the three-ton gate that says blow horn on top of the gate? I haven't put any pictures in here because it's going to be for a separate video. But as you all know, it says blow horn. Everyone says there used to be a horn on top of the gate. So the only thing that I've matched is not even necessarily this one here. I do believe it is a, a Model A horn that would be in here if this is a horn. Model A's tend to have a larger casing up here for whatever reason. This whole horn piece would have been embedded into the concrete, the cement that he made. Nothing was bolted down on top here or anything. There's no screw marks or anything. It would take in the horn and embedded it into three-ton gate and then poured cement around it. Did he leave the horn piece in there? Did he leave this horn piece down in there? Did it rust off at this point and this is the wrong horn. Look at a Model A horn. That's what I'm thinking it may have been. Let's say it's not a bottle, and it's actually a horn piece in there that rusted off, and then the top motor piece came off in time. If there is a bottle in there, Did he make that into a battery? Was he adding substance in there to make it a battery to power this horn? I think these horns are usually 6 volts or 4 volts, something like that. Or was this horn a different horn and not electric? Some of these have a plunger on them and they're air horns. Was this an air horn? Could this be a handle up here? Anyways, I'm going to make another video on this. It's just so intriguing. Nobody ever talks about blow horn. The horn is going to vibrate into here. What would it have sounded like? Would it have made this easier to spin? Or did you have to spin it and then blow the horn to make the connection? Many questions on that. Anyways, where I first started, this piece here, I do believe I have matched absolutely to this piece here. Gone off the measurements from this block, and then I've compared from this block to that block. It all seems to match. This piece here, maybe a coil box. I'm not sure. Hope everybody has a great day and thank you for all your time.